Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about glyphosate toxicity and the risks of glyphosate exposure for your health. So if you didn't see my other videos yet, glyphosate is a commonly used herbicide, which ends up in about 90% of our food supply if you're not eating organic or your own homegrown food that doesn't use this commonly used herbicide. So some of the diseases that are related to glyphosate exposure include chronic kidney and liver disease. So in terms of our overall internal organ health, really important to limit our exposure to glyphosate, as well as the gut disorders. So whether that's IBS, it could be SIBO, so the small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. It has been determined that people who have taken high amounts of glyphosate, unfortunately it shuts down or sort of semi-paralyzes the movement of food through the digestive tract and this is where it's believed that because of this slowered motion of the food moving through that this is what can then propagate the growth of those less favorable bacteria in the small intestine and be related to that glyphosate toxicity. The advent of celiac disease and gluten sensitivity if you look at the history of glyphosate use it correlates very well with the incidence now of every being sensitive to gluten and unfortunately the glyphosate will kill off some of the beneficial bacteria which is needed to be able to break down gluten and other grains and this then can lead to the celiac it can lead to the gluten sensitivity but also the leaky gut syndrome which we know is correlated with of course the autoimmune disorders and chronic inflammation so if you've missed my other videos all about that make sure you check them out but glyphosate is part of that story as well when we talk about severe inflammation in the gut, colitis definitely can be related to glyphosate toxicity and the, its ingestion. Also reproductive problems, so whether it's a decrease in sperm count has been found in the literature, but also birth defects. So in terms of you know slowing down that fertility for both men and women, but in the actual health of the babies, whether it's cleft palate has been related to glyphosate toxicity and anencephaly. So lack of you know proper brain formation in babies whether it was in animals and or in humans you know very scary to see and I've seen them some of those you know unfortunate cases of this toxicity as well as hypothyroidism so this is definitely on the rise we have to ask ourselves well why is hypothyroidism you know every second person you talk to is related potentially to glyphosate and glyphosate shuts down part of the proper functioning and formation of our TSH the thyroid stimulating hormone so that is part of the reason how this is now implicated in terms of having proper metabolism and your proper thyroid function as well as autism so this can be definitely found in the literature do your own research you will see a lot of studies linked to autism and the use of glyphosate and its ingestion as well as ADD and ADHD. Glyphosate has also been linked to heart disease and improper functioning of the cardiovascular system. Depression as well, we know that that gut-brain connection in terms of what, how glyphosate can mess up with our you know, healthy microbiome, this is definitely you know, that correlation with now what neurochemicals are happening between the gut and the brain, and this can definitely have an impact on depression and cancers so this is in 2015 where glyphosate really hit the news in terms of now legal action being brought up against the company making the glyphosate because of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So in this study, we can see that exposure to glyphosate-based herbicides and the risk for developing non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. This was a meta-analysis that definitely suggests that the, there is a compelling link between exposures of the herbicide with that increased risk for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So this is where a lot of legal action, a lot of lawsuits, 
thousands and thousands of lawsuits since 2015 because of the compelling evidence against glyphosate and unfortunately its correlation with developing non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, as well as prostate disease and cancer, brain cancers, lung cancers, and even breast cancer have been related to glyphosate toxicities. So today we talked all about glyphosate toxicity and the risks of glyphosate exposure for your health. I hope you have some questions or comments. Please do drop them in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well. It is very important information that we definitely need to spread the news about this and so that people can do their own investigation and learn a lot more about how to limit your or completely eradicate your exposure to glyphosate and more importantly how to detox glyphosate out of your body if this is you know definitely correlated to what's going on with your own health. I appreciate a big thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel make sure that you're subscribed. Turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell so that you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.